Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at in terms of uh, using Adobe Photoshop uh, is to open the program, start a project, and l really look at our workspace that's on on the screen. So let's just go and open Photoshop just here. Now yours might be slightly different from the variation that I've got on um, my Mac here. You guys are using PCs, so most likely there are a few variations, but if there are, I will look at explaining those for you so you're aware of the differences between the two. If you go to hit new here or file new, you get this little dialog box here that comes up and this is where we start our project. Uh, so I'm going to start this one by looking at calling it uh, magazine cover tutorial. So that's the name of the project that we're going to do. Now, what you've got underneath is our width, height, resolution, and color mode options here. Now, Photoshop uh, generally works better, I believe, with RGB color. But to be honest, it depends what project you're using, but we can keep that exactly the same there for now. Uh, and what we want to do is look at creating an A4 document uh, for our magazine cover. So if we hit millimeters here, now mine's already correct, but I'll just... Um, redo these. Now our width for an A4 page is 210 millimeters and our height for an A4 page is 297 millimeters. And then below that we've got our resolutions which is currently at the right place at pixels per inch rather than pixels per centimeter and we want it at 300 pixels per inch because that is going to give you really the best resolution quality in terms of industry standard um, magazine print. Okay, so that's where we're at now, 297, 210 by 297 mil, 300 pixels per inch RGB colour. Okay, so that's right there. Okay, so we hit OK, we should then get our project page. Okay, so this is what your screen should look like really with some minor differences depending on the machine you're on but generally it's it's pretty similar we've got our main area here and I'll explain now what these different areas are let's look at the left hand toolbar first this toolbar just here these are where all your tools are stored this is where you'll select different tools to use on your project to manipulate various elements uh, so you've got your, your cursor tool, your selection tool, your quick selection tool, uh, cropping, eyedropper, eraser, brush, stamps, uh, gradients, fills, uh, colours, pen tool, text tool, okay, shape tool. You'll be using all these different tools as you develop your skills in Photoshop to create your magazine front cover, your contents page, double page spread etc. Now depending on which one of these you click here the bar at the top here will change. Okay. So if we select uh, I don't know the uh, let's select the rectangle marquee tool okay that's going to give us this at the top but if we were to select the eyedropper tool the bar at the top changes to give you some different options for that tool. Okay, text tool, for example, quite a well-known one because we use it in Microsoft Word. You've got your, your font type, what kind of uh, bold or italic that is, the size of it, how sharp it is, where it's going to be placed, etc. Those tools give you more options at the top when you click on them on the left-hand toolbar. Okay, uh, so let's go back to our marquee tool here. Just quickly select that. That could select the page. And for example, you could quickly add a 20 pixel strip around the edge. Okay, it's a very basic idea of how it works. So I'll get rid of that layer just there. Okay. So as I said, you've got your main workspace in the middle. And on the right hand side is a very important area because this is where you can access different things. Now these, this what you see in the middle here would only be on people's different machines depending on their uh, artwork that they've already got on there. 
Uh, but the area we really want to focus on is this bottom bit here, our layers panel. Okay. Uh, now Photoshop works in a hierarchy system of layers. So whatever layer is on top is what is most in the foreground. Okay. Uh, and we'll be looking at using some of these. We'll be looking at using different layers to build up our magazine. We'll be looking at uh, maybe duplicating layers. We might even look at using masks. So there are different options that we can play around with here. You could do different things with these. Uh, you can turn your layers off so you don't see them. They're still there. It's not like you've deleted them. You're just turning uh, them off so you can't see them. You can also lock layers. So if you wanted, I don't know, a background to remain where it was, you'd hit the lock on that particular layer. Uh, and that means you can't edit or do anything to that layer. Okay, uh, And that might be useful at times for you guys. Okay, So that's a basic introduction really to uh, our screen space uh, and the options that we can use. Just wanted to get you familiar with that uh, and now we'll look at moving on uh, and starting our magazine project.